Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Coloniano D, and welcome back to my Generation X olfactory experience. And as you can see, fragrances from the house of Zaharoff, the signature summer quote unquote trio. So these are three fragrances from the house of Zaharoff. Of all the fragrances in the Zaharoff collection, these three are legitimate summer fragrances. A summer theme, so to speak. So you can really classify these as summer scents in a top summer list, okay? And as you can see, I'm outdoors, enjoying the uh, beautiful sounds of nature. And I figured with these, these presentations of these uh, fragrances, Nothing's more fitting than to be outdoors uh, with these beautiful, vibrant colors from these fragrances. So let's go over the uh, presentations. So from left to right, we have Signature Citrine, which is a 2021 release. And in the center, we have Signature Coco Loco, which is a 2023 release and the latest signature bloom here in 2024. And here is Signature Citrine. Now, Signature Citrine, beautiful. Signature Citrine is the first freshie from Zaharoff, so I'm gonna spray some of this. So these will actually be my um, scents of the day. And here is the presentation for Signature Citrine, the copper, it's beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in on my, my uh, jasmine plant there with the same color pot that's <laughs> up on the upper left there. How fitting is that? So this is back to this. All right. And then in the center we have signature Coco Loco. There we go. Nice. This is uh, Rio de Janeiro inspired. Great presentation. It's a mask fiesta. So I'm gonna spray some of this. I'm smelling great right now, even though it's a little windy out. And uh, Mother Nature is gonna move in with some storms a little bit later. And here is the presentation for Coco Loco. Now in the backdrop, you're gonna hear some some wind and I apologize but this is how it is when you're in the great outdoors doing a fragrance review weather is not predictable what you hear in the backdrop so next we have the latest which is signature bloom okay this was released here back in 2024 just about a month and a half ago and this is Signature Bloom presentation. Now the cap is a soft, rubbery, fleshy type cap, which resembles the um, jasmine bud. Okay, here's the box. Sort of like three dimensional, it's raised a little bit. It's really beautiful. Right. Spray some of this beautiful, I think, masculine floral. Ooh. Nice. Beautiful. And as you can see, the, um, the cap sort of rubbery. It's beautiful. It's got a great feel to it. So if you take a bud of a jasmine uh, and you 
rub it in your hand, it's kind of fleshy or really soft. It's really nice, let alone how beautiful it smells. Ooh, I'm smelling great right now. So signature citrine on the left. Let's go over the notes. At the top, we have sweet orange, sweet fennel, red currant, cardamom, the heart, we have Arabian jasmine, clementine, pink pepper, fig wood. At the base, we have plum, patchouli, oud, white moss, musk, frankincense, and myrrh. And this one is a citrusy aromatic. Okay, it's beautiful sniffing that right now it's got some woods really nice so let's go with signature coco loco the top notes are cardamom red clementine juicy pear pineapple the heart we have coconut blonde cedar pimento leaves neroli jasmine and the base we have benzoin tonka bean heliotrope vanilla and white musk and this as I said before, is the uh, inspired by Rio de Janeiro. And this one is noted as the nighttime to Citrine's day. And it's a spicy aromatic. And Coco Loco has the coconut theme. Oh, it's fantastic. Ooh. Wow. Coco Loco, and that was released last year or so. And Signature Bloom, which is the current release, is this fantastic jasmine. Um, it takes you, Bloom takes you on a jasmine journey. And this is an aromatic floral. So let's go over the notes. Top we have gardenia, coconut, star jasmine. The heart we have amber, Arabian jasmine, Egyptian jasmine, orange blossom, that orange blossom in this fragrance, oh my goodness. Red peony, base, we have sandalwood, vanilla, bourbon, oud, sugar cane, white jasmine, ylang lang, myrrh, and olibanum. Now, these, all three I just sprayed, so they're my scents of the day, and the uh, citrine is more on the herbal, it's green. Coco Loco is tropical, it's delicious, it's beautiful. And the uh, bloom is a, a resinous floral, okay? So you have that olibanum, that frankincense, really nice. So you can go from green woods to nighttime in the tropics to a modern floral on a casual day, light air, warm sun, and a stroll in your favorite park. That's blue. It's beautiful. All are very distinctive with the Zaharoff DNA. Now, they're all invigorating and delightful and perfect for summer. These are summer-centric fragrances from Zaharoff. And like I said in the beginning, you know, of all the Sahara fragrances in the collection, these three are legitimate summer scents. They could go in a summer scent category. Beautiful. They're perfect for summer. I live in the South, so, you know, I can wear this up in these fragrances up until November, so. Um, I could sport these anytime up until November. Maybe I'm starting to feel a few raindrops, so I kind of moved my train of thought away a little bit. Um, so let me wrap this up before it starts to rain really bad. So have you tried them? Let me know in the comments if you tried uh, Citrine, Signature Citrine, Signature Coco Loco, and Signature Bloom from Zaharoff. Uh, these go fast. Uh, from what I get, from what I gather, Signature Citrine is on back order and that seems to move very fast. It's really an outstanding fragrance, great florals, it's fantastic. Um, get your nose on these, try these, leave a comment, 
Uh, let me know what you think, because before you know it, we're going to be heading into those heavy hitters, those gourmands, and we're going to be sport breaking out the uh, leather to back. So, um, as you can probably hear, the wind is starting to kick up a little bit. So, this wasn't so much a review. This is more of an overview of Zaharoff's signature summer scents, the summer trio. Get your nose on them. Fantastic. Um, that's it. That's my overview. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.